So I'm amazed at how many people have contacted me in regards to Aboriginal funding going missing or nothing has been done. And this is all because of the Jeff Clark case. He's not a West Australian, he's from the East Coast somewhere. So I don't know him, but I was just as appalled as anyone else when I was sent a link to, to record my expressions and so forth when I had a look at that. And I was absolutely appalled, I was shocked, and I was more disgusted, if anything, not just by his disgusting offences, but I was sickened to my stomach to know that the court system knew that he was paying his defence attorneys through the very money that he stole from the Aboriginal organisation, from the most vulnerable people in our communities, in our towns, and so forth. Now, imagine if we all were afforded that same right that we could go and steal from an organisation or a corporation and then use that money as a defence for the best legal defence. Because that's what the court system is saying, is that you can go to a corporation and steal the money out of, out of that corporation and then you can go on and use that money for your defence team because that money is only going to be pumped back into the legal system. The irony in all of this has not been lost on me. So now I'm in that headspace of, well, which crime is a bigger crime? Is it the crime that he stole a million dollars and then he led to gang rapes? Or is the crime more important, the fact that he then went on to use that money as a defense team so that he gets a lower sentencing because he paid an exorbitant amount of money pumped back into the legal system. Do you guys, are you guys following me? You know, it's, it's like they're forcing you to pick and choose which one is a greater offence. Well, they're both horrific. They really are. But the court system isn't holding anyone accountable. And I hope the judge is watching this before he makes his sentencing. Because what you're saying is, it's okay for them to come into our Aboriginal communities where the most people are the most vulnerable and they have no one half the time or nothing or they feel so bullied in their community that they have no one and all their hopes are banked on the legal system to do something. But then you've turned around and you've shown rest of our community as well as the rest of Australia that all we have to do is run an Aboriginal community steal the money, put money aside for our legal defence team because it's going to be pumped in back into the, the legal system and we'll get off on it or we'll get a very light sentence. What are you trying to show us? Seriously. Aboriginal leader Jeff Clark is fighting to stay out of jail after being caught out in a million dollar theft. He was convicted in secret trials of stealing money intended for Indigenous communities. Once rubbing shoulders with Nelson Mandela, Jeffrey Clark dedicated years to protecting Indigenous Australians and then turned his back on them. These were organisations you ran, are you embarrassed? All I have to say is my chocobar is strong. Convicted of dozens of fraud offences in three secret trials, a gag order suppressing the 72-year-old's identity was lifted last week. The disgraced former ATSIC leader stole almost a million dollars from three Indigenous organisations he ran over a period of 15 years. He pocketed the cash, spending it on legal fees, rent, rates and utilities.